this is a new speech for me, and for, I was actually uh, suggested around last spring that I might like to write a report since I was re retiring on trends that affect the future of uh, public libraries in particular. And I just thought what a great way to sort of uh, end a career by being able to do that. It was my great honor and I'm very thankful for the fact that I was able to do it. I uh, have completed the report. I'm gonna give you a link to it so that you can read all of it uh, at the end of this. And uh, what I'm really gonna do is to address some of the highlights of that particular report today so that you can see some of it. But there's a lot more of it that's actually inside the report itself. Um, the one thing that I need to stress, and we'll see if we can pull some slides up on this then, is um, <coughs> the fact that, we got slides up? Yeah, there's one, both sides. Is that um, I always like to, I love the story of the six blind men and the elephant, you know, where the six men sit by the side of the road they always wonder what an elephant is uh, supposed to be like. An elephant is finally walking along the road in front of them. So you know all of those stories. So the six of them going up and touch a different part of the elephant. One of them touches the tusk and one of them touches the trunk and another touches the ear and one touches the tail. One touches the side and one touches the leg. And then the elephant moves on and the six blind men sit by the side of the road for the next 40 years and argue about what an elephant is actually like because they've actually experienced it very, very differently. And I always wonder how the story would come out if in fact <clears throat> they combined their information to actually see what the elephant was like and then they could realize that what they were listening for is another viewpoint of the elephant when they began to see it. I'm always aware when I do these types of talks that I really am the one blind man and the elephant. It's my point of view and I don't make any apology by saying the fact that when I talk about trends that are affecting the future, it is definitely from my viewpoint and that other people are gonna have different views of that particular elephant. And if we get together and we combine them, then we'll probably have a, a better view of the elephant when we begin to see it. At the same time, and in the report, the view that I am given is certainly influenced by a great deal of research. And I've read hundreds of papers in the last six months about the future of libraries in order to kind of come up with the conclusions and the things that I'm talking about tonight. But I do think that despite the awards and everything that uh, was very nicely mentioned, <coughs> is that the biggest thing that I really bring to it is that I'm a practitioner, is that I have worked my entire life as a librarian, worked for 14 years as a children's librarian, uh, have experienced life on the desk, experienced many of the different types of programs, uh, worked in those trenches within libraries themselves, and care deeply about libraries. And while at the Hamilton Public Library 12 years ago, the province decided that it was gonna merge the city of Hamilton with five surrounding municipalities. And they gave us the opportunity to build a library system from scratch because they threw everything away. Every union contract, every job description, everybody who held any of those positions, including my job, so I had to reapply for it and be appointed again. And we started from the very beginning and created another library. And we decided that what we were gonna do <clears throat> is to create a library with a forward looking, not necessarily where the customer is now, although we want to supply those services, but with the, where the customer is going to be. And we've kept that up there as being a future focused library in order to make sure that we are providing services for where the customer is heading, not necessarily for where the customer is now. So much of what I'm actually doing is influenced by the experience of that because it was highly successful. 12 years after amalgamation with no assessment growth and no population growth within the community, the library is the number one ranked service within the entire community beating fire. And our, our service levels have gone up in absolutely every measurable area, including things like circulation by three times, the number of uh, public access computers by three and four times, the number of people who come to programs or step through your doors by three and four times, despite the fact that the population is exactly the same because the things that we put in place to try to plan for the future work. And so some of those, when I talk about the future, are influenced by things that I know work because they've been working in the library that I worked at. But I also wanna talk about a little bit about the American Library Association. Uh, last June in uh, 2011, what they really did is came up with a neat little chart where it was dealing with sort of four elements and a continuum with an extreme on each side of it. And you can see on the top one that on one side of this extreme was a library that is totally physical. It's all about facilities, 
and it's all about actual physical items that you might circulate and send to another. And the other side of the extreme is totally visual. And the second one is really libraries with an individual focus. And the report from the American Library Association does an excellent job of trying to describe these focuses. And then it, the other side is community focus, collection librarian versus a creation librarian, a portal versus an archive. So the archive is where it is archiving physical material and the portal is much more about accessing whatever a person might wish, even though you may not own it or have it, and particularly may not have it physically. So what the American Library Association suggested that people might want to do is to take a look at their own library and say, well, where are we now in each one of those four categories? And where do we want to be in the next few years? Where do we want to be on that particular continuum? So when I was writing this report, I spent quite a bit of time going back and thinking about those four different areas and saying, where do I think most libraries are at the present time? And where is the trend I really think they should be? And so a lot of the trends that I'm going to talk about will deal with some of those areas.